More misery for Pakistan. Pacer Haris Roth accused of ball tampering. Pakistan Pacer Haris Roth has been accused of ball tampering in the team's T20 World Cup 2024 defeat against USA. There just doesn't seem to be an end to Pakistan's problems at the moment. After the humiliating defeat against USA in their T20 World Cup 2024 opener, Pakistan star Haris Roth has been accused of tampering with the ball during the match on Thursday. Former South Africa pacer Rusty Theron, who is a member of the USA senior national cricket team at present, took to social media. Tagging the International Cricket Council ICC, making a serious accusation against Pakistan veteran speedster Roth. Roth was poor with the ball against USA, bagging just one wicket in four overs while conceding 37 runs. During the match, Theron claimed that the express pacer ran his nails through the new ball, hoping to get it to reverse and bamboozle the American batters. Theron wrote on X formerly Twitter, at ICC are we just going to pretend Pakistan? Aren't scratching the hell out of this freshly changed ball? Reversing the ball that's just been changed two overs ago. You can literally see Harris Roth running his thumbnail over the ball at the top of his mark. At use a cricket hashtag PacVSusa. No official complaint from the USA team seems to have been made on the incident yet, though the allegation remains quite serious. As for the match, Pakistan skipper Babar Azam threw his bowlers under the bus, suggesting they should have been able to deliver better against the USA team, though defending a mediocre total of 159. Listen to the latest songs, only on JIOSAAVN.com. We are better than that in bowling, we were not able to take wickets in the first six overs. In the middle overs, your spinner is not taking wickets then pressure is on us. After 10 overs, we did come back but I think the way they finished game in the super over. The credit goes to the US team, the bar said in the press conference after the match. Pakistan next face their arch-rivals India in a bid to make a comeback in the tournament. Pakistan fast bowler Haris Roth on Thursday was accused of ball tampering by former South Africa cricketer and member of the USA cricket team Rusty Theron during the T20 World Cup match at the Grand Prairie Stadium in Dallas. Theron's shocking post came before Pakistan's humiliating loss against the co-hosts in a group a match that was decided by a super over. Pakistan changed the ball before the start of the 13th over with the home team on 94 for 1. USA continued their momentum with captain Manik Patel taking in Shaheen Afridi for a 4 and a 6 in back-to-back -back deliveries in the over. Before Haris dismissed Andres Goose in the first ball of the next over, the delivery showed a hint of reverse swing as the good length ball struck the top of off stump. There has been no official statement from ICC on this matter yet. Despite the wicket and with Nassim Shah and Mohamed Amir bowling perfectly in the death overs, where their strategy was to simply execute Yorkers, USA held their nerves in the final over to score 14 runs and hence leveled the score. Haris aired in his execution twice and was punished with a 6 by Aaron Jones. Over Cal Corner and a 4 from Nidish Kumar in the final ball. Amir then put on a horror show in super over with Pakistan conceding 18 runs. Where 7 were from extras, which was a result of 3 wides and some sloppy fielding. Saurabh Netravalkar successfully defended the total while dismissing Iftikhar Ahmed. As USA crypted their biggest ever international win in history, Wasim Akram has slammed Pakistan for their shocking defeat to the United States of America in the 2020 40-20 World Cup group a match on Thursday. A good 12 hours later, Pakistan are struggling to come to terms with what transpired in Dallas. Two-time world champions, Pakistan, led by Babar Azam, suffered arguably their biggest defeat in world cricket when they went down to the USA by five wickets in the Super Over. After the two teams finished with identical scores of 159, it boiled down to the Super Over, where the home team emerged triumphant. Akram, who complimented the USA for their efforts for giving the opponents a stiff 19-run target in the Super Over, 
echoed the sentiments of his fellow Pakistanis and declared that the road to the Super 8 is going to get difficult for Babar and his team. USA are leading Group A with two wins from two matches, while Pakistan face India next, followed by Canada and then Ireland. If Ireland, who recently defeated Pakistan in a T20I last month, can spring another surprise, Pakistan could well be out of the T20 World Cup. Pathetic performance. They were playing against USA. I was confident, Pakistani supporters were confident that they will win but credit to USA for the way they played their cricket. The first innings, the second innings when they came out to chase and then of course the super over. I mean 19 runs in super overs is like getting 36 runs in an over. So well done USA. Pakistan will struggle from here onwards to qualify for the Super 8 seconds. Because they have to play India and two other good teams too, Akram told Star Sports. Akram talks turning point of the match. Pakistan have endured some bitter defeats in World Cups, losing to Bangladesh in 1999, Ireland in 2007, Zimbabwe in 2020 to T20C and very recently against Afghanistan last year in India, but this one has got to sting. Pakistan's batting was exposed when they were reduced to 26 thirds and no one barring Babar Azam 43 and Shadab Khan 40 could get going. Furthermore, the manner in which USA negated their bowlers was nothing less than a spectacle. Akram felt just the overall zeal was lacking in Pakistan, which more than anything else, let the team down. I think turning point of the game was the way they got early wickets. They had one little partnership between Shadab and Babar and then nobody looked comfortable. The fielding was average. Overall cricket was very average by Pakistan. Winning and losing is a part of it. We all know it but till the last ball, show some fight, put some dives. Catches are being dropped, wickets are tough to get. So yeah, it was a bad day for Pakistan I suppose, added the former World Cup winner. Besides Akram, former Pakistan stars such as Shoaib Akhtar and Cameron Akmal too expressed their disappointment with the result. Akhtar called the loss hurtful and disappointing while Akram reckons the result was an insult for Pakistan cricket.